Repairing and maintaining rainforests via seed dispersal makes cassowaries a critical gardener of Australia's wet tropics. The big birds are playing a key role in spreading native seeds even more in more urbanised areas, depositing them in patches of remnant rainforest. Joining us to explain more about why it's so crucial is Dr Mariana Campbell, Research Associate and Lead Author with Charles Darwin University. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Firstly, just start by telling us a bit about the cassowaries. Where are they found? What makes them such an interesting bird? I guess you said it yourself, they they are pretty unique. They are um, vital for the rainforest. They're such a large bird. They are the heaviest um, rata in Australia. They they are unique in, in terms of the, being the only animal in the rainforest capable of spreading um, larger seeds. So we have about I don't know, 50, 60, 70 um, plant species that rely solo on cassowaries uh, for the seed dispersal. They are incredibly interesting birds, as um, you know, the images you are seeing now. Um, the male looks after the chicks, and um, yeah, they are vital to maintain the health of the rainforest and the patches of rainforest in more fragmented landscapes. So what were you aiming to do with this study that you've you've conducted and, and how did you go about it? Um, the study started because um, of previous studies shown that cassowaries were uh, preferring or they were feeding more in exotic uh, fruits rather than um, in, uh, rather than the natives in in those areas of more fragmented rainforest. And we wanted to see the, I guess if that was uh, indeed true. Um, or if uh, they were just feeding upon people's gardens and rubbish beans and avoiding or not foraging as much on the rainforest. And what we found is that they are actually a bit more flexible uh, on their foraging strategies. And they actually do feed, even though they do have the gardens and, and rubbishes in those um, habitats that um, have been fragmented, they still go back into the rainforest and they extensively forage in the rainforest, still um, so vital to maintain those smaller patches of rainforest that remain in those more urbanized areas. So that, that's why we decided to go about this study. We wanted to investigate if that was indeed true. And with, um, with the animals in the rainforest, yes, they do feed exclusively on natives because that's what they find or at least the animals we did track, that's what they did. But even in highly fragmented habitats, they still go back into the rainforest, into those patches of rainforest, and look for native fruits. Uh, so they maintain that preference. They are vital, but what we saw is that they, they go back. They come, they do forage around gardens, and they go back into those patches of forest. So if people can have more native plants in their gardens, they will feed upon them, you know, like they they love cassowary plum, for example, and there are other beautiful natives that people can plant in their gardens. And then this way, we are assisting on the cassowaries um, taking those seeds back to the rainforest rather than exotics. Dr. Mariana Campbell, really fascinating to hear about what you've been up to recently. And thanks for sharing the study with us. Really appreciate you making the time. Thank you for having me.